A bipartisan bill just introduced aims to better protect sex assault survivors in court. It would prohibit some defenses, including what a survivor was wearing at the time. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon met with a survivor and an advocate to discuss the complexities of these cases. Old pictures of Kelsey Harbor. As a kid, I was super goofy. Tell her story. I can definitely see the difference between these two photos and this one, which was uh, taken after I had been molested. Harbor says she was 10 at the time. And just became smaller, I guess, is the best way to describe it. I thought I would get in trouble, and it was like this big secret I needed to keep. Almost two decades later, in 2019, Harbor went to New York for the summer to study under a researcher at NYU. This was be the last moments before my life would change. Harbor says she ran into an actor while out. He um, touched me without consent. She reported it to police. My entire life got just turned like inside out and upside down. Did you feel protected by the system? Oh, oh no, no, no. Harbor says because her case was high profile, she was scrutinized by strangers. Was it heels or not? And how low cut was the romper I was wearing? And was my hair done? I wanted to not exist. I mean, and I mean in like the literal sense, I didn't want to exist anymore. Nearly five years later, she's speaking out again, knowing she's not alone. One in three Coloradans experience some form of sexual violence in their lives. The state health department reports nationally, the majority of sex assaults are not reported to police. They face challenges with being humiliated, degraded in cross-examination, um, not believed and shamed. Jessica Daughter spends her days in the Capitol working on behalf of the elected district attorneys in Colorado on different policies. They're supporting House Bill 1072, which aims to eliminate what a survivor was wearing at the time or a prior sexual relationship with the defendant to be used as evidence in court. A big strategy is to try to blame a victim for their part in the assault, which just is not fair. When we come forward, we are raising awareness in society and we're challenging the system and we're holding the system accountable. Even though she says the past few years have been brutal. But she's still cool. She did, she did all right. She's fighting for that little girl who's found her voice. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Now, one group is listed as opposing this bill on the Secretary of State's website, the Colorado Criminal Defense Bar. They told us they do not have a statement at this time.